So if you can make it, if you make it happen, you only have to get through the summoner deal, and you've got a knight to help kind of mitigate that. There's, there's a chance, as difficult as it is, there's a chance you can just like, you know, burst that guy out. But Link, I want to point out, heavy defense tree already has Runic Ooh. Blessing. Guy is making sure that he is durable at the start of this game. The 50 health shield upon spawn. Yeah, that is standard for uh, mid Raka is 21 defense. Coast would have the edge of catching because of the Thresh death sentence, but if it was a 5v5 fight, Link Soraka would win if they were grouped up. Mystic Shot falls wide, but this would be a 5v4. With his fusion goes in to first, bump. takes a bunch of damage, flashes out, Nintendo flashing away as well, and Yen do does not land the stun. But Coast forced to run away. I don't know why Ez went in first. Now Shifter forced to run. Will he learn? Yep. Dash is away. Nintendo should be fairly safe, but CLG now owns this jungle. Very interesting. CLG manages to push Coast back 4v5 just because they got the jump on them. And because Zion Spartans already went back to base, this is a successful blue invade that will delay Nintendo X's early jungle. It's a bit of a farm lane here. He was late to lane, which gives Zion Spartan a bit of an edge. And Ryze really beats on melee champions, levels 1 through 5 most of the time, so... He's at his strong point at this moment. he has got to be a little bit careful. Not much mana is needed. Forced to flash away. The Q is almost quite going to land Nintendude. His oh, flash was down yep. in level one and exactly. can't get the first blood. If Nintendude had his flash without that level one, that would have been a kill on Dinian, so. Well, we'll see which lane he chooses to salvage right now. Actually, top lane is holding completely equal. Nian burned his TP to get back into lane. Zion Spartan with Tyrlo doing some major damage. Nian actually yeah. forced out rather quickly. Chugging potions to keep himself alive, but Zion with heavy ward control. I want to see what, what their actual like well advantage comes to. One actual advantage is that CLG's bottom lane is outclassing Coast right now. Yeah. Thresh Ezreal is actually a very strong laning combo, but Aphromoon Double is just obliterating them right oh, now. Oh, wow. Just picked up first blood 2v2. Yeah, that was an overextension right there. Daydreaming goes down. The summoner heals were still up, actually. Coast didn't even anticipate the damage that came through. CLG, gigantic lead down here. Yeah, big misplays coming out from Coast there. And double lift also delays. Not quite. Nothing. He gets a lot of minions though. Yeah. Yeah. Half of them. If Dexter wants his kill, I feel like he's gonna have to wait a really long time. Can they just force it under the turret with their CC? It's unlikely, but they're gonna they're try. Trying. There's the ulti pops in. The stun comes by as well. Zion flashes, gets away from the fear. Can he get the AoEs down to keep himself alive? Take it even more pain. Wish the rock through. Dexter's gonna make it enough. DN takes turret shots. Counter logic game and get the turret dive to top lane. They did a couple things actually really well with that dive is they had Yen taking the turret with the armor and magic resist of his Jax ultimate and they had the Soraka ult come in to heal them extra. So a big force of a dive there. It's important to note that we're only 50 minutes in and the Feral Flare has been transformed for Dexter. Whereas Nintendo is on 18 of the 25 stacks, but this pink board could turn into a fight. And he gets the land here, though, gets himself out, but there might still be an engage. Dexter on the front lines. Glitter Lamps does not quite land. He's still chasing, though. Teleport, Teleport in comes Jax. in. The end. The box comes down. Dangerman gonna get stunned up, though. Does he have anywhere to go? He does not. Down goes the coast support. CLG 3 0 and kills and control over Dragon. The very deep pink ward comes in clutch for CLG. Zon Spartan does not match that teleport because Coast was on the retreat. Gains a kill and a dragon, plus they still hold the mid lane. Big damage Whoa. comes through. Shifter finds the kill and Aphromoo. Even Wish is not enough. Blue team takes down Dragon, though. That's going to be secured by Dexter. Nintendo forced to run. He'll survive, but a counter kill for Coast. Yeah, they do get one back onto their most important player as well. Shifter with the DFG burst surprises CLG with that damage. Overall, though, still big advantage gained by CLG. Punch Combo team. from LeBlanc onto a support with little to no magic resist. But this is Zion Spartan being a little vulnerable. Three-man gank, look out. This does not look good for Ryze. The 1v3 comes in. He's gonna get feared up under the turret as well. Nowhere else to go. The heal helps keep Nian alive, and that's gonna be pressure on the top turret. I wonder if CLG overcommitted that. They actually set four up, and that leaves them vulnerable to some counter pushing by Coast. How well can they use their teamwork to get some of these turrets down? So Nian grabbed early Merc Treads right. to survive both Ryze and even LeBlanc. There's a lot of Merc Treads on there too. Yeah. Dexter is still squishy though. Like Dexter has no MR or no bonus health in his kit. But, uh-oh. Zion Spartan gonna face check into a Jax. Slowed down. Spells coming through. He should be taking some more damage, actually. No turret really there. Wants this. You're right. There is no turret. Nian might get the 1v1 kill. Zion gets a lantern just in time. Jay Dreamin saves him. Still a good hide-and-go-seek by Nian. I wonder if it's gonna cost him. He popped his ultimate throughout that. Gonna wish he had it right about now. DFG comes out, the Wish comes through, there's the Ignite, maybe later than you would have wished though. 
Nocturne ult comes through for the mid lane. Now Nintendo locked up, pops the ulti link, getting the damage through. Hex comes in to get the lantern. The heals come through, keeps him alive. Top lane kill doesn't fall through either. Nian also, yep, as you say, managed to escape, but COG with the ultimates and the commitment by Coast, get another turret. Uh, so it's gonna be even more damage. They even force back Zion Spartan, doing his best to defend. That tier two will survive, but. You can see Coast is desperately trying to get vision control back. That's why they have three sweepers despite being pushed back. Because without roam, they cannot succeed. But here's the die, 5v3. You're gonna do what they can. You got a little while till the next two people come in. Daydream goes down. Dexter claims that kill, gets healed up in the process. Turret will fall as well. Coast cannot stop that onslaught of damage. Nice dash away by Doublelift as well to prevent the assassination. Coast might try and find something like extra off the back of this, but they're already down to support. And the dragon is up. COG is going to try and force this one. They kill it so fast. It looks like the force is going to be around Baron so far. Actually, Nian fairly low on health. He and Dexter are two manning it. This Maybe is a little bit risky. They are very low. And he jumps in with little health and no backup. Wow, double the one shot shifter without that. It's going to be enough. CLG pick up two kills right here. Afro still making the plays, but goes down to Baron. He can't get help from his team just yet. Nian finally shows up. Dexter around the wall as well. Half HP. Wiz Fusion can't possibly do a link here. It should be Baron. They're trying to teleport in with Ryze. This could still be a contest by Coast. I wonder how much damage Ryze is going to do when he hops in. Link has jumped on as well. Baron is aborted. Two-man stun. Gigantic engage as well. Nintendo very, very low. Hex Drinker pops, but Link will almost pick up the kill. Yeah, the Q from Double does it. Zion Spartan now the only member alive. Daydream and actually respawns, making it a 2v4, sort of. Double still on the chase. Zion Back just buying Baron. kills. Yeah, that kill in the mid lane on Shifter was surprising. Doubled with the magic resist, does find the solo, and they're just back on the Baron. The life on hit and life steal of CLG's Nocturne right there gets in the Baron. Even more control. Great aggressive play making by CLG. An easy kill uh, for whoever Nian and Dexter jump on as long as they go as dive bikes. Last time they were going to fight like this, there comes the dive back. Dexter going in. There's a jump away from Wiz Fusion. Will keep himself alive, but down goes Nintendo X. CLG now inside the base once more. Bottom inhibitor turret goes down. This could very well be the game. Nian just taking a bit of damage, doesn't even care. Yeah, they really only killed one because the rest of Coast had to back away. They're about half a wave away from making it in. Shifter might have to defend bottom lane, but here comes the next wave up at the top. Nian leads the charge, puts the stun up, goes for the engage, finds three Ooh. with it. The knockout from Lulu as well. Big engage. Daydreaming's gonna go down once again. Nintendo in the front line's also gonna fall. They do find Dexter for this one, but still, a two for one is enough for CLG to keep pushing in. Doublelift forces the back line away by himself, and the third and final inhibitor will go down. Well, they did land a nice combo onto Dexter, but they're not strong enough to push off these minions free. 12 kills to two, 30 minutes in, the dive continues. Another engage, Zion Spartan forced to run away one more time. Inhib sorry, Nexus turret number one will fall. Nian actually forced back, taking a lot of punishment. Little Lance as well, CLG trying to keep their health bars up. Gonna be the engage here, Shifter can't quite find enough. Nian survives one more time. And now the Nexus under fire. Coast, the respawns are so frequent this early in the game. Another engage, Nian doesn't land the stun. Actually goes down, but that's gonna be the Nexus. 30 minute win, CLG taking game one. CLG is gonna try and make quick work of this series here. Such a nice performance there. Yeah. 12 kills to three. They bring out something new. Link goes 0 0 10 on mid lane. Locket of the Iron Solari Soraka. Uh, they were able to withstand Shifter's the block pick because that was really the big threat from there. And now, Freak, you have to look towards game two. What does Coast do? They had their jacks taken away from them. Yes, they get blue side, so they have first pick. They get a little bit of wiggle room right there. But this is a dire circumstance because that wasn't close. It wasn't. And I think. I really think it just snowballed 90% from that bottom lane. Because the other lanes were holding equal or winning in CS. Now, yeah. to be fair, Dexter had a great gank and, and made Nian win the lane. Like, that was awesome. That was a force by CLG that worked very successfully. It was good by them. But, like, there were severe misplays in Coast bottom lane. Like, Daydream died with all four...